in my previous video I proved that uh, if y is equal to a to the power x dy by dx is y times y times natural log of a and what is y? y is a to the power x times natural log of a. Now the, this is a power function or this is an exponential function so the log is the opposite of exponent or inverse of exponent so if y is equal to log base a of x then the derivative would be 1 over x times natural log of x so it's very interesting so we may have to use this as we prove the derivative of natural log of x so we have proved this in my previous video where i proved the derivation or the de derivative of natural log of x the derivative of a to the power x and also e to the power x so let's look at this so let me write this function again y is equal to log of any base so log base a of x so writing this in an exponential form can be write x is equal to a to the power y x is equal to a to the power y now differentiating differentiating both sides with respect to y differentiating both sides with respect to y so I'm going to use the derivative operator d by dy so d by dy of x is equal to d by dy of a to the power x okay so we saw we proved I proved in the last video if y is equal to a to the power x dy by dx is y times a to the power x and y is a to the power x natural log of a so using that same rule I can say d by dy of x is nothing but dx by dy is equal to d by dy of natural log of y would be that same function which is a to the power y a to the power y times natural log of natural log of a okay so if y is a to the power x dy by dx is a to the power x that is the function itself times natural log of a so if you find the derivative of a to the power y d by dy of a to the power y it will be that same function times natural log of the constant okay so this is uh, now what is a to the power y okay if you a to the power y is nothing but x okay now you have to say but a to the power y is nothing but x so in place of a to the power y I can put x okay so let me scroll down therefore I can say d, dx by dy is equal to x times natural log of a x times natural log of a okay therefore I can say so taking the reciprocal of both sides so dy by dx from dx by dy I can write dx dy by dx is 1 over x times natural log of x so this is the derivative of any log with any base okay this is a general rule so let us take a particular case so we just proved that if y is equal to log base a of x then dy by dx the derivative is 1 over x times natural log of a not natural log of a sorry natural log of not oops natural log of a not x I have to change here this is again not a because not x because this is natural log of a it's good that I corrected yeah okay so we just proved dy by dx is 1 over x times natural log of a so so using this if you have got let me change color so let us check this whether this proof is right so y is equal to log of x log base 10 so let me write base 10 we don't we generally don't write base it is understood the derivative if y is equal to log base 10 of x 
dy by dx is 1 over x times natural log of 10. Okay, so now to check this answer, so let us find dy by dx at, of this function at say x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10 would be 1 over 10 times natural log of 10. So let me get the calculator out. So 1 divided by, so menu, menu run. So this is 1 divided by, I'll put this in the bracket, 10 times natural log of 10. Close the bracket. So it is 0 0.04. So let me write, it is 0 0.04. So the derivative of the log function, 0 0.04. So what does this mean? Let me explain this in a graphical way, 0 0.04. So what we are saying is the log function, as calculus student, you should know the log function. So the log base 10 would look like this, okay? This is, this is 1, and at 10, this should be 1, okay? So this is 10 comma 1. This point is 10 comma 1 because log of 10 is 1. So the derivative or that means the gradient is, when you draw a line here, this is a, t a tangent or this is a line which just touches the, so let me draw the line. So what is this means? In a graphical, uh, in a graphical manner, the gradient, the gradient that is m of this line should be 0 0.04. Okay, it does make sense. Let us check this on a calculator. Go to your table menu and type in log x because the base is 10. I have turned the derivative on. Your derivative has to be on. Just to show you, no, I have scrolled too far. So, oops, so let me go up. Uh, your derivative. It has to be on and it's off. Good. I checked. So derivative has to be on and I'll go set from 1 to 10. Okay. So at 10, uh, 0 0.04. Can you see the derivative? At 10, your value of the function is 1 and the derivative is 0 0.04.